Hey guys, we're about to jump in uh, with the dev team that developed the new map Haven for a few matches. Hope you enjoy. Check it out. What's up, Hawkins? You ready to play some Haven? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if <laughs> land on a rooftop or something. On a rooftop, okay. Oh, I just totally biffed that. But if you land on a rooftop, there are hey, yeah, uh, parachutes up there. Grab that parachute and X okay. games on down here. You have to press F when you're in the air. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if you can get it. Hey -o. Oh, that's pretty sick. Welcome to Haven. Why did you decide to put PvE? As the the battle royale space, there's a lot of players in there doing different things and, and introducing different mechanics. And the thought of like having the environment fighting against you is is kind of an interesting mechanic. So, in a way, these pillars are supposed to be an extension of the environment. So to kind of have this thing that isn't necessarily trying to compete with you, but is still presenting a challenge, an optional challenge, if you want to take it up. It's just a, a way for us to put in something interesting that still gives players an interesting reward if they try to take on the challenge, but in a different way that they're not familiar with. Uh, do you want to try this new parachute feature? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Sweet. Wow, I made the mistake of thinking that it was reusable. <laughs> oh, yeah, to pick up another one. Oh, sure. <laughs> Rookie mistake. I really love the mood of this so far. Super dark. I think ever since the Vikendi night map, you know, there's been this desire to try some like real spooky cat and mouse gameplay. But, you know, it's a snow map, right? So it's it's always going to be a little bit bright. So we, we thought this would be an appropriate setting to, to really uh, push mood, push vibe, get a more uh, dangerous experience. Yeah, I can definitely feel that. I think I saw them. Let's see. Yeah, that that blue smoke, the red lights over there. Oh, I see the smoke. The blue smoke is what indicates that the, the pillar are nearby. So this blue smoke, these fires, uh, uh, that means this building's occupied. Got it, okay. Oh, but I, I don't hear the radio Wait, behind, I think, where we came from. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Yeah, I don't hear the radio chatter, so somebody's been in this building. And you can see by this graffiti here that this is a pillar stronghold. You hear the little radio chatter, that's the, the uh, loot caches they're guarding. Players are used to red smoke with the care package, so we didn't want that to overlap. But uh, we wanted them to be able to see the smoke and know that it wasn't just a, a player thrown smoke. Oh, nice. Oh, did I kill the captain? Yeah, that was the captain. Really? That was him, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. This should have like high tier loot. So in order to open it, we have to get the key off the body of the captain. I'll let okay. you do the honor of that. Thank Meanwhile. you. Good here, no time. Right. Oh, what happens if we take a few shots at the kill truck? Would it come back for us? Yeah, it's, it'll. Uh, well, this is a good demonstration. It'll do it'll, that. It'll, it'll do that. Right here so, on me. Oh, nice grenade. Yeah, that was good. So it'll try to flush you out if you hide as well, but by shooting those Molotovs at you. Um, you should just jump behind some cover, get inside some buildings, and it'll still go away. Uh, can you destroy it? No, you cannot. Does yeah. the helicopter shoot? Uh, it does not. We considered doing that, but it's, it's kind of felt a little overpowered. Chopper's on us. Players know when they see the spotlight on the ground that it's got a target, so now we're got it. every, every other player in the map's watching for us. At the edge of the building north, and there's also one to the left here. North one. I think we should push this, though. There's a guy on the other side of this building. It's like the back right corner. I'm with you. I've got a decoy out to your left. Okay, got him. Nice. So does the kill truck and the uh, scout helicopter, do they work? in the very final phases of the match or uh they, they kind of back off just so you don't have them winning a match at the end the oh, are pretty <laughs> strong that fire gun that it shoots does a lot of damage oh oh unlucky. good heft up one of the things with the dust time setting is that it's difficult to see players so having that trace fruit fire really kind of helps um 
outline people, but then it gives you a way as well, right? So when you're taking fights, you have to kind of consider potentially not taking the fight or being careful about it. Oh. I just got a, I just got one back here. Oh, that's Hopkins. Get him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if he's as difficult as the pillar. He actually might be more difficult than the pillar. Oh, no. Person right under the truck here, I think. Oh, he is. Oh no. He's definitely harder than the pillar. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh man. Kids, I deserve this. <laughs> How do you find the intensity of these games compares to the larger maps? Well, you know, this is a really tiny map, but it plays slow because of the circle speed and the verticality and the player count, right? So we're we're trying to still keep that real high intensity downtime uptime, especially down the street. These kind of like big long engagements here uh, can be very intense. Yeah, it sort of feels like you can choose how you want to play it. Oh my goodness. That camping son of a <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, sticking around and checking out this sneak peek on how we play test. We are all so excited to see how you guys experience our latest PUBG map, Haven.